going? Come on. What are we looking for? Elizabeth? Done. Mother's grave. They have her preserved in an airtight chamber. Her fingerprints will get us into Comstock House. She's your mother. A mother who abandons their child doesn't draw a lot of sympathy in my book. Take a moment to think about what you're doing. There. Will you open the door or do I have to go in without you? Elizabeth. It's her. How are you, Mother? All locked up in there, huh? Looks like you and I have some common ground. Let me do it. No. Let me do it. You see, child? You chose to follow a false shepherd and he has led you astray. What I do, I do for love. What liars does not cringe to see their cup and pain, but spare the rod, spoil the child. If you won't listen to me, perhaps you will listen to your mother. Elizabeth, are you all right? No, but where, where did she go? Hold on, you need to rest for a minute. No, I'm getting that hand. Elizabeth, why is your mother a ghost? She's not. He, he used me to, to power that device. He opened up some kind of tear.
seen your mother is raising the dead. Booker, act. That will do. Elizabeth? There! That one! Now! There you go! <laughs> 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 What am I? Is she the source of my power? But what is she? Alive or dead? Why do you ask me what? And the delicious question is when? The only difference between past and present is semantics. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. If we could perceive time as it truly was, what reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. She is both alive and dead. She perceives being both. He finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension. It's a dangerous combination. Look! What sucks? She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House. All that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. Well, they're sarcastic. There's something off about Lady Comstock. Yeah, I notice. N no, you don't understand. She... She doesn't belong here. I brought something through. I'm just... I'm not so sure it was her. 